Hey everybody, Norm over here at Norm's Rare Guitars, and uh, you know a lot of you guys who watch our stuff know that I'm very much into the homeless uh, charity, and we try to you know help out the homeless. There was just a thing in the newspaper today talking about LA being the capital of the homeless population now in the United States, and it's gotten out of hand. And we want to do what we can. This is my friend Kevin Wax, and Kevin is a drummer, and Kevin's put this concert together. And uh, it's going to be hosted by Kelly Osborne, Rob Morrow. Tell us about some of the other people that are going to be there. Carver Hine is a buddy of mine, great, great guitar player. Uh, Mickey Dolans from the Monkees. Um, Jack Temption wrote a lot of tunes for a lot of people. Rosemary Butler, great singer. Um, just on and on. Vivica, J Vivica Fox, uh, Lorraine Newman, Lisa Loeb, Kristen Chenoweth, Nolia. Kraling, I can't pronounce it. Malaya <laughs> Kraling, uh, Madeline Zima, Don Randy from the Baked Potato, and Don Peak from the Wrecking Crew. That's it. Um, so tell us a little bit more about it. What what you're trying to do and what's going to be happening? It's at the Palace Theater, by the way. Palace Theater in Los Angeles. And what we do, we are the tribe. And twice a year, we put on events that benefit whatever we feel is important. Uh, what you talked about with the LA Times article today is clearly something that's timely and important right now. It was the headline story in the Times. So we gather together, we've got 35 of the uh, top musicians in LA, and we put on a show, and uh, we charge for it, and the money that we get for the ticket sales, 100% of that money goes to the charities that we're benefiting, all right. to homeless charities. And, well, and that's important, it's 100% of the money. So. Everybody's and you know, any one of us could have been homeless and could be homeless at any time. So don't ever think that you're above it. Something bad happens. You just never know what's down the road. So by helping them, you're kind of helping yourself too. Absolutely right. Absolutely true. We know <laughs> there's people who are in the show who could probably tell you stories about really how close they became to living in their yep. cars and some maybe even have lived in their cars or out in the right. street. So it's not that far from any of us. You're exactly right. Some of it, it's alcohol and drugs. Some of it is um, mental illness. Some of it is just being very unlucky and a few bad, unfortunate circumstances. Some of it is, you know, they were laid off from their job. Maybe they had a house payment that was a lot and now they're not working and they're out of their house and so it's educated people uneducated people it's a combination of everything so it's not about any one person and you can't go with they or them or whatever it's us if i can add to that you know a lot of people think that that there's the perception of the homeless guy underneath the freeway with the cigarette and the bottle of booze and, and the yeah. derelict but not true. I mean, there are some of those still, but when we went to these facilities that are housing the people and you talk to them and they don't look like any different than you or I, right. but the reality is, is that if they didn't have this place to go to, they would be living on the street. So it's it's really changed the way it was. Uh, a couple of years ago, it wasn't the way it seems to be now. It seems like everywhere yeah, you look, yeah. it's, and again, front page at LA Times today. So. And also there's, you know, there's women, you know, who have three or four kids, Maybe they got a divorce, maybe they were never married. They got to watch the kids. If they're watching the kids, they can't work. If they work, they can't watch the kids. It's just something that just one thing leads to the next. And it's a very unfortunate thing. And if us who are able to help, if we don't, shame on us. So I hope you guys can attend. This is a really cool thing. I'm proud of Kelly. That's really a nice thing that she's doing. And uh, you too, Kevin. Thank you, man. It's a good, good Thank cause. you, you too. You know, so we appreciate your support. We believe in it. And we've got a lot of good guys. There's a lot of great musicians in L.A. And they're really cool. So, uh, and they've all been, you know, so much involved from Richie Sambora to Tom Petty to Joe Bonamassa to on and on and on, Don Felder and REO. And I, I, I don't want to leave people out. Robin Ford, uh, 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 Jackson Brown, Los Lobos, just on and on. All these guys have given and done things to play for the homeless. And, uh, you know, we're trying to give back. So I hope you guys have a big heart, do the same thing. So it's, again, the, the CARE concert, and it's at the Palace Theater, and this is at 630 South Broadway in L.A., and it's 8 p.m., there's going to be a silent auction, and um, the, the date is... A week from Saturday, June 10th. June 10th. Right. 
So be there, get a great night of entertainment, see a lot of celebrities and stuff like that, and hopefully you'll align yourself with this thing trying to help for the homeless too. So I hope you'll all be there. Thank you very much.